All right, guys. I'm glad you could make it. Glad you found this channel. Welcome to your unique devotion. Um, I'm not completely ready for this, but I'm starting to wake up, and let's just let's hop in. God will take over. <laughs> uh, today we're finishing up First John, the book of First John. Uh, we're in chapter five. I'm going to read verses 18 through 21. This is entitled "Knowing the True, Rejecting the False." I'm just going to hop in. Here we go. We know that whoever is born of God does not sin, but he who has been born of God keeps himself, and the wicked one does not touch him. We know that we are of God, and the whole world lies under the sway of the wicked one. And we know that the Son of God has come and has given us an understanding, that we may know him who is true, and we are in him who is true. In his Son, Jesus Christ, this is the true God and eternal life. Little children, keep yourselves from idols. Amen. So that's the end. Question, what guides you? He talks here about the, the sway of the wicked one and how when you're walking with God, you are not under the sway of the wicked one. And though... You can do this in a general term for your life, and you can say, well, I'm sure there's times where, you know, I should be doing this or shouldn't have been. Um, really, for me, it's more specific, moment to moment, because um, you can feel in that moment of frustration, moment of anger, um, where maybe your thoughts are in places they shouldn't be, or um, not necessarily shouldn't be, but uh, as in bad or good, but just... Uh, mindless thought thinking, you know, it's your mind, your mind and your body being swayed toward the wicked one. But if you build moments to moments to moments to moments of trying really hard to communicate with God and listen to that still small voice trying to, trying to redirect you in the right direction and not being swayed towards those uh, strange moments where you're like, oh, you know, why was I, why did I do that? Or why am I thinking that? Or whatever. Those moments build into days. Those days build into weeks, weeks into months, months into years, which means it gets easier. But you have to check yourself in those moments. You know, hindsight never accomplishes the, the change. And the fix. Hindsight means you recognize that you have a problem, but you've already committed it. But if in those moments you can cut yourself out of it and stop with thoughts that don't, uh, that it just shouldn't be there, or thought rambling, or my words rambling, um, you know, if you can stop in those moments and keep building on it and just keep working with it. You won't have to do hindsight after a while. Um, so I'm just going to focus today and really think hard of what is guiding me and should I be guided by it? And uh, by asking that question, it'll start to point out, oh, well, this is God. This is his direction. I'm good. Or that's probably not a good thing. <laughs> Let me put that. Like uh, when you're on your cell phone in the middle of church, that's probably a good time to put the phone down. <laughs> that's being swayed by the evil one and taking you away from the direction of God who's trying to preach through your pastor to you. Um, I just, I don't know. It just came to my mind. So three days of reflection. That worked out very nicely for me last time. I was able to reflect back on the book and just uh, rehash some things in my mind on my own. Um, I encourage you to do the same since we're at the end of the book. And uh, I'm going to do that for three days. And then we'll come back and we'll hit uh, Second John and we'll do the same thing. We'll read the chapters. We'll go back. We'll break them down. Um, we'll look for that God question and hopefully I can build some communication with God for myself and maybe I can help you out at the same time. So don't forget, check the description box. I call it the D box. Um, I've got pump up music down there. It's music that I like, which is why I don't play it behind me. Not everyone likes the same music that I like. Um, I have my email down there also. 
please leave comments, like this and subscribe. You know, every once in a while we get another subscriber and it's totally appreciated. And, um, you know, I hope it's because this is getting interesting and the word's getting out there. And the only way that the uh, channel can grow is by getting the word out. So if you come across friends um, or family members who you think, you know, might be interested in a daily devotional of this format, um, please, you know, let them know and uh, let them come and check it out and search out for themselves. And um, hopefully I can be a help to more people and we can work together to help each other as this grows. Uh, let's just, let's cut it there. I can keep going. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful day. Hope God gives you all the blessings you deserve and even more so all the blessings you don't deserve. I'll see you in three days.